An outsider? Well, if this is Ifray's will... Come here, please. Outsider, I fear for my wife, my Gwenael. A group of Firesong druids attacked our home in Ifray's path. I managed to escape the slaughter, but Gwenael's still in there. I tried to go back for her, but the path has grown more dangerous. Yes, Outsider, animals lash out. The spirit motes that once inspired us blanket the land in a thick fog. The spirit of the path may be injured or frightened. I do not know what the Fire Song want or how they turn my home against me. The spirit of Ifray's path. We call it the Chronicle. We Elder Tide made our home here to care for and tend to the spirit. Outsider, I'm trusting you. I'm putting my wife's safety in your hands. Help me find her. And I will see you well rewarded. The entrance to the path is just over there. I'll meet you on the steps down into the Sacred Valley. There we can find out what happened to my Gwenael. But first, let me bless you against the dangers within. Besides the Fire Song Druids, the very air is thick with spirit motes. You'll see them once we enter the valley. The worst are the animals, though. They frighten me. Crocodiles, wolves, ursocks, among others. The animals in the path are usually docile. We feed them, care for them. Now they attack without provocation. For things to be so out of balance, it goes against my understanding of nature. It started after their attack. But I've never seen a druid who could control the spirit modes before. Only the Chronicle commands them, chooses when to release them, and what story they carry. And I have no clue what's happening here. Yes, we're members of the Elder Tide Circle. You're fortunate that I need your assistance. Outsiders aren't usually permitted to set foot in our sacred sites. But if Ray sent you, so, who am I to question that? Three. Elder Tide, Stone Law, and Fire Song. Stone Law are adequate druids, but they stay close to betraying the true way. Accepting outsiders? <laughs> the Fire Song are reclusive, but they never attacked other druids before. You're not a druid. You don't belong on the Sisters Archipelago. Still, I'll set aside my animosities for Gwenael. She's my bubbling spring. She soothes the burns of life and cools my harsh temper. We need to save her. I've been searching the perimeter of the path since the attack, and I've seen no one else. I can't believe I left without her. If I'd only stopped to see if she followed, she'd be safe. If she dies, I'll never forgive myself. Oh, Ifray, let no overcast skies or snaring vines cloud the intention of our thoughts. Storms have mercy. The moats are even thicker now. The spirit moats. I'm glad I blessed us against their effects. I have no idea what such concentrations would do to our minds. to get off my feet.
Druid Senna saw the moat cloud form? It's like nothing I've encountered. Druid Senna, the animals tore her life away. Still, her account mentions the moat settling quickly. That's highly unusual. We should keep looking. I worry my Gwenael might suffer a similar fate. Some small relief. We found some trouble. We found the last notes of Druid Senna and a group of dead Elder Tide. But my Gwenael is still among the missing. What do you think, outsider? What do your non Druid senses tell you? Yes, the Chronicle grows plants called Muse Mouths, which release a small amount of spirit motes when we commune with it. The motes show us the stories. They've never threatened or harmed us before. And they never appeared as great clouds, either. Other than the thick concentration, I'm not sure. Druid Senna mentioned that the Fire Song caught in the fog lowered their weapons and then marched off as if in a trance. This is very strange. No, but the others all lived in our community. And from the looks of it, they were killed by the Fire Song attackers. They must have been surprised. There are no Fire Song druids among the dead. But there's also no sign of my wife. Not finding my wife could mean anything. All we know is that she's not here. She could be anywhere. But yes, let's go check the waterfalls to the north. That's where Druid Senna's note said the Fire Song druids went after the spirit boats descended. The waterfalls? I'd rather not discuss the waterfalls. That area is very private, not a place for those outside our circle. Still, if that's where the Fire Song Druid went, we need to check. There were a lot of them in the raiding party. They must be somewhere. Come on, the waterfalls on the north wall of the valley. Let's keep looking. Spirit notes around that fire song drew it. Lord, get it out! Talk to her, outsider. This won't hold her long. Must go. Join. It calls me. The spirit of the path. It calls to us. We must go. Defend it. Protect it. Attacked. Frightened. It needs us. It must be defended. It appears that the spirit modes do more than just tell us stories, outsider. That fire song druid's mind was clearly being influenced, if not outright controlled. But why is the Chronicle doing this? It never exhibited hostile behavior before. The blessing I bestowed upon us before we set out must be keeping the modes at bay. Given the power we just saw, I'm not sure how much longer that protection will last. I suppose you'll need to accompany me into the tunnels. It is a sacred place, outsider. The tunnels lead to ritual chambers, 
the Musemouth plants, and to the spirit of the path, the Chronicle. Hopefully, my Gwenea was also somewhere inside. Gwenael must be somewhere in these tunnels. Let's find her before the spirit molds or the animals take her from me. Get back, fiends! <laughs> On that platform. What's a forest freak doing here? Amuse mouth. It has a story to tell us, outsider. I can sense it. Examine the plant. My gift to you. Tell us how to access the Chronicle, or this is your fate. No! How could you? Gwenael, and the Chronicle. Did you see it too? The spirit is trying to tell us something. That was neither story nor ancient history. The Chronicle showed us the recent past. That's never happened before. Yes, I saw it too. The Firesong Druid said something about accessing the Chronicle. Could that be what this is all about? But something we saw plagues me. The orb. That was the Chronicle. But the spirit has never appeared in a vision before. It raised bones. What happened to the Chronicle? Outsider, this is the Chronicle, the spirit we communed with, but it's grown dark. Can you feel the anger radiating from it, the sadness? I don't like the looks of this. The Chronicle's always been more emotional than other nature spirits. It comprehends the experience of mortals and feels our emotions vicariously through the stories it shares. I've felt its calm, its joy, and even its grief. But this... Perhaps. But there's a depth to this emotion I've never felt before. It unnerves me. Let's hurry. My Gwenael is in here somewhere, and my fear for her safety grows with every passing moment. The door is just over there. Another muse mouth plant. I sense the Chronicle has more to show us.
You refuse to give us Ifray's gift? Very well. We will just kill you and take the Chronicle. We can't just give you the Chronicle. The spirit is bound to this sacred place. Then we'll cut the Chronicle from the roots and... <coughs> What's happening? <coughs> spirit moves. Spirit mode saved Grinnell? But why... The Chronicle blessed us with another vision. We saw the Firesong attack Eldertide, threaten us to gain possession of the Chronicle. All this bloodshed. That could explain why the spirit feels so guilty. But the moats... It saved Grinnell. Nature spirits, especially ones as strong as the Chronicle, are known among the Circles. While the Fire Song rarely leave Iphelon, they've always been aware of our spirit. Some even traveled here to partake of its stories. Obviously, the Chronicle is capable of more than we ever gave it credit for. Recording and showing recent events, influencing the minds of people and animals. But why druids would want access to that kind of power, I can barely speculate. Spirit modes are thick here, but I have an idea. Such a high concentration of spirit modes is dangerous. The Blessing won't protect us from this. Worse, vines seal the doors beyond. I think I have an idea, though. The Musemouth plants in the room ahead are bloated, spewing out huge clouds of spirit motes. I can remove the vines that block the door. But I'm too old to withstand the motes in such concentrations. Luckily, I have a few vials of Ifray's rain. Purified water from a sacred waterfall. Gwinnell uses it to awaken those who sometimes get lost in the visions. The water causes muse mouth plants to shrink and close up for a time. Even ones bloated as much as these should react the same way. I'll clear the line.
Efre's reign worked as well as I hoped on the bloated Musemouth plants. Let's keep going. I want to find my wife. What's happening over there? Those druids. They're transforming into forest wraiths. How is that? Gwenael. No, not you, please. Gwen. A forest wraith. No! My Gwenael, my guiding light. We were so close to reaching her, and she slipped through my fingers. The spirit turned her into a forest wraith. Legends tell us that the green and its spirits can summon forest wraiths to protect themselves. The Chronicle felt threatened, so it did the same. I'm not sure if this is how all forest wraiths are created, but we saw what the Chronicle did. Possibly. The Chronicle transformed Gwynel into one of those things. It should be able to turn her back and return her to me. I know I've asked a lot of you, but please come with me. We need to talk to the Chronicle. Convince it to release her. All right, outsider. Let's go find my Gwynel and convince the Chronicle to transform her back into my beloved wife. The newly created wraiths went farther into the tunnels. We keep moving and I'm sure we'll meet up with them shortly. As for recognizing my wife, she may be a creature of darkness now, but I know I'll be able to identify her when I see her. All right, outsider. Let's go find my Gwynale and convince the Chronicle to transform her back into my beloved wife. I'm with you, my friend. Mouths? Use Ifray's rain on these as well.
This way. I'll deal with the door. Nail. Stop! Druids spill blood. No more druids in this story. No more. Outsider, the Chronicle won't talk to me. You must convince it to let us go. Hold on. That blast, it hurts. My chest burns. Do what you must, help me. Gwenelle, 
Tov? What happened? Everything is fine, Gwenil. Outsider, come. We owe you so much. What happened? Everything is so... unclear. I can hardly believe my eyes. My Gwenil. As radiant as the day I first set eyes upon her. I thought I lost her. But the Chronicle, the spirit of the path, what a terrible price to pay to set things right. You did what it asked of you, what you had to do, but don't despair. I felt its anger slip away. Its intentions were pure, outsider. Things just got out of hand. It was the actions of the Fire Song that tainted the spirit, corrupted it. It used its moats to try to stop the Fire Song, created the wraiths to protect our home. But it knew it went too far, like a bee whose sting causes its own death. It reacted in desperation. I hope it finds peace now, back in the green. Yes, Gwen is strong. She'll recover quickly, but she would have been lost to me without your help. Please, accept this. You ended a great danger and rescued my Gwenelle from a terrible fate. I just wish the Chronicle was still with us. We may have lost the Chronicle, but my Gwenelle is safe. And all because Ifrae chose to send me an outsider. Life is strange, my friend. We'll rebuild. Ask more Elder Tide to join us. For too long, we've relied on the Chronicle to show us our past. To tell us our stories. It's time for us to take responsibility for our own memories, I think. It will be, once the spirit motes disperse and the remaining Fire Song are driven off. Without a spirit, Gwen and I... Did all that really happen? The Fire Song, the Forest Wraiths... The Chronicle saved you, in its own way. It was angry, that much I remember. The bloodshed, our friends... We'll grieve for them, and for the Chronicle. We lost a lot this day. The Chronicle is really gone? Its final act was to release you, dear Gwen. What now, husband? Now, we thank Ifre and tell our own stories. The Chronicle was so frightened. So angry at what the Fire Song did. It tried to help me, but it was confused. Unsure. I remember becoming a forest wraith. I'll need to write that down. It's a story that should be remembered. Fast, confusing, but then it was simple. I had a purpose. There wasn't room for fear. I'm no more murderous now than I was before, but still, it was odd. If Pitov came any closer, I might have hurt him. That will be difficult to forget. With the Chronicle influencing my mind, in an instant, that feeling will stay with me for the rest of my days. Part of me is glad the Chronicle is gone. For all its insight, it didn't understand mortals. I hope I can still be a druid after this. My understanding of nature's spirits has changed. I don't know if I can treat them with the same respect I did before. I'll give myself some time to recover and reflect. The shock of everything that happened could be clouding my judgment. We'll see. We may have lost the Chronicle, but my Gwenelle is safe. And all because Ifre chose to send me an outsider. Life is strange, my friend. We'll rebuild. Ask more Elder Tide to join us. For too long, we've relied on the Chronicle to show us our past. To tell us our stories. It's time for us to take responsibility for our own memories, I think. It will be, 
once the spirit motes disperse and the remaining fire song are driven off. Without a spirit, Gwen and I will become the chroniclers. We'll remember and record our stories and our history. Share it with all who wish to hear.